This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and in this video, I'm going to do a software spotlight on GNU Stow. Stow is a program that will allow you to manage your dot files more easily by using an automated form of sim linking. To start, let's install it. I'm on Kubuntu 18.04, and to install, I simply have to type in sudo apt install stow. Now I already have it on my system, but if you don't, this will install it for you. Next, you want to make sure that you have a Git repository that you can store your dot files in. So on my system, that's in the home folder in a directory called dot files. To make things a little easier to understand, I'm going to open up the NNN file manager so we can see the directory structure. For each program that we want to store configuration files for, you create an enclosing folder, my NVIM setup, Newsboat, PCMan FM, I just create an enclosing folder for those. And what we want to do is copy the configuration files from our home folder into these directories, but we want to mirror the structure of our home folder within the directory. Let me give you an example. For instance, Newsboat. Let's search for Newsboat in our home directory. And we can see the configuration files are in a .newsboat folder. We want to replicate that layout in our dot .files repository. We'll go back to the first tab, and within Newsboat, we're going to create a .newsboat folder, and then we'll copy our configuration files here. Once we do that, we can go back, and we can delete the .newsboat directory, and then we can move on to our next application. Let's take a look at NVIM. If we go back to our home directory, we know that our NVIM configuration is located in .config and in the NVIM folder. Again, we want to replicate that folder structure within our .files repository. Within NVIM, we'll make a .config folder and we'll copy the entire NVIM folder within the directory. Finally, We'll look at an example for something just in the root directory of the home folder. Navigate back to our home directory, and we'll just search for the X resources file. And that's just a dot file in the root of the home directory. What we can do is navigate back to the first tab. Within the bash folder, I have copied in the dot X resources file. Because within that folder, we are replicating the structure of the home directory. X resources is within the root. And you repeat this process for all the programs you want to back up the dot files for. What do we do once we've completed all of that? Well, let's exit out of NNN and list the contents of our dot files directory. So on the system, once you've copied all the files over, you want to remove the original files from the home directory. And then we're going to run stow to symlink them. You can do this a number of different ways. You can type stow, and in the name of the directory that you want to symlink. So in this case, we could do stow tmux, and that will link the file. If we want to do multiple directories at the same time, we can type stow tmux terminator space max and run those. Or if we want to do everything in the directory, you can type in stow and an asterisk. In this case, I have two different i3 configurations. I have one for my desktop computer, which is Blackintosh, and then I have one for my laptop, which is the X1 Carbon. What I'd want to do in this scenario is remove one of them. I'm on my desktop right now, but I could remove the X1 Carbon configuration, and then I could run stow asterisk, and that would link everything, and then I could just run git stash to bring back that i3x1 carbon configuration file. Now, if at any point you want to reverse the sim linking process, maybe you want to unlink a file, you can just type stow, capital D, and then the name of directory or directories you want to unlink. This makes it pretty trivial to share your configuration files between machines using Git for version control. If you get a new computer and you want to have the same experience and configuration, just pull down the git repo with your dot files, type in stow and asterisk, and that will populate the directory and you'll be good to go. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit bkashaaudio.com for more tutorial videos.